Well, let me give you a little background on the preparation. Uh, after the after identifying the challenges in the Great Lakes, which are mostly related to peace and stability, uh, the region needs to involve private sector in board, in the board, so that they can be part of the process. Private sector also can contribute to peace and stability. Based in this vision, the head of states, uh, on January 15, 2014, they recommended the Regional Interministerial Committee of the International Conference to establish the Regional Private Sector Forum so that this private sector can work with the government of the region to address the issue of, of developing the, the different projects because we have different projects which need the involvement of private sector. So to come up to your question, yes, it's not easy to organize a conference involving the different private sector of the region. First, it needs coordination between the organization the institutions that uh, which I can mention the Office of Special Envoy, which also part of addressing the use of the Great Lake region, needs involvement of the government of the region. So uh, this preparation of the conference, which will take place in February 24, 2016, will involve not only the private sector, but also public sector. It means government and the private sector. So that all together agree on which project to be developed in the region and how to develop what is called the PPP, Public-Private Sector Partnership. The way out to attract the private sector first needs a comprehensive dialogue between the government and the private sector. Each of this part, government and private sector, should understand the role to play in the society. You know that the concept of PPP is new in Africa. In some of uh, the great left regions, uh, it used to be the government to conduct business. But uh, uh, the trend is that government has a role to play in terms of developing infrastructures, school, roads, hospital, and uh, maintain the security of the country, security of the people. But when it comes to business, uh, this area should be given to the private sector, but uh, with the support of the government. Yes, we need peace to develop investment, to promote investment. You know, in the pact on uh, security, stability and development, uh, approved by the head of state in 2006, they identified it three pillars, security, stability, and development. Uh, since then, uh, government has been putting much effort on security and the stability of the region. Although we still have challenges, as you know, we still have challenges in the East, Afri in the East DRC, we still have challenges in the Central African Republic. We have challenges in South Sudan. I'm mentioning the member states. Uh, presently, we, we are facing some crisis, political crisis in Burundi. But again, uh, one may not think that only after 
stabilizing after getting the peace is when business would come in. We believe that involving private sector, uh, conducting, create the environment for business, and can, can also help to stabilize and bring peace in the region. That's why we are trying to match peace, stability, and the role of private, private, uh, private sector to create uh, opportunities for business, create job for the youth, because again, our region is facing pro uh, 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 real challenges that we are not addressing the, youth, the ease of youth. In, uh, in July 2014, we had a summit in Nairobi where the head of state identified that another challenge to be addressed urgently in the region is to promote job for the youth. So, and this requires also that private sector should play their role.